Hi YouTube, Brian James on Micro Four Thirds Guide with you once again. It is the clock 2.43 in the morning and I just got the new version 2.4 update to my Olympus, my, to my Lumix G9. Uh, so you can't say I'm not dedicated to being up this time in the morning for you. It's literally hot off the press. It's just been uh, changed on the website. Um, so an hour ago it was still version 2.3. I've downloaded it, I've put it into the camera and I've had a quick look. Now some of the things that are in this I'm not going to be able to see because they're to do with autofocus and this time of night I'm not going to be able to see it. I can't see the animal tracking and, and all the other bits and pieces. But the two things I was looking at more than anything else were the red record screen and also the, um, the vertical for selfie mode to see how that went and see if they were very easy to get hold of and, and to, to set on. The red record rig is particularly important to me because I do a lot straight to the camera I'm recording the camera at the moment and sometimes it's difficult just to see the little red record dot flashing to convince yourself it's recording. If you haven't sussed out how to do the firmware update there is a link straight above which will tell you how to do the firmware updates on both the Lumix and the Olympus cameras so check it out if, if you've never done it before. Um, the only thing I'd say is use a card formatted in the camera that you're going to be actually updating um, and also when you do it make sure that you have a full battery and be careful not to touch any of the controls as you're doing it. Um, a firmware update can cause severe problems to your camera but if you follow the, the rules on it it's straightforward. Um, so I've already done the update on this one, it took seconds, literally seconds. I've also done an update on the um, the lens which you're seeing this on which is the Lumix 12-60 f3.5 to 5.6 that's just had a, a firmware update mainly to do with the use with the GH5 but it's worth doing the update anyway so that one's been done as well on this camera and it's just a case of downloading the file that was released yesterday but this one is literally just off the press it wasn't even on the, on the site an hour ago so what have we done with it I've updated the camera to do the the two updates that I'm interested in if we go to our menu and we go to our C spanner, the, the C custom spanner menu on the back. Go into that, go into the lens others section and there's two things on this. First of all is the red rec frame indicator. That's set to off as default. You need to switch that on if you want to use the red recording frame and what that does is when you press record for a video instead of just putting the little red dot in the top right hand corner it actually puts a red frame all the way around the full display so if you have it in selfie mode and you're looking at yourself like I'm looking at this one then you see a red display nice and easy to see even from a distance the other one if we scroll down from there that I was interested in is the vertical position vertical position info for video that defaults to on and what that does is it puts a, the information about the fact that it's a vertical display in with the file itself and it records it in a vertical format. Now this is absolutely superb if you're doing stuff which is going to be put out onto things like TikTok or the YouTube Shorts because they demand a vertical format and now it can be done straight out of your mirrorless camera uh, very very easily without having to resort to the phone or without having to resort to using the software post-production to rotate at 90 degrees. It'll take it straight out and it'll put it in the right orientation. So I've set both of those on. As I said, the main thing that I'm after is the video. So let's just have a little look. I don't know if you can see this at all, but there's the camera there. If I press record on the video, you should hopefully be able to see on that that it has a red screen all the way around it. If I switch it off, it disappears much easier to see. Hopefully you can see it quite clearly on there. I presume that's in focus. But even if not, take my word for it, it works. Um, this isn't a major update. This is a, a minor one, version 4 from the from the last major update. And the last major update, the, the version 2, which came out a year or two back, really was a, a fantastic update, especially on the video side of things. A lot of these minor ones, uh, you don't see too much generally as to what's happened with them. There's, for instance, there's ways that it responds to the USB lead now when plugged into a PC. There are um, ways it responds when you've got uh, a, an external power supply plugged into it. They, unless you're using those, you're not going to necessarily see them, but they are there and they make an importance to the people who do use them. 
But as I say, these two I think are going to be really, really useful. The vertical screen for the ones who I want to do the YouTube shorts or the TikTok, not my sort of thing, I must admit. But at the same time, there's an awful lot out there. It's a growing sector of the market, and the G9 is now capable of really competing to take it on to another level. Remember, this is competing with iPhones and tablets. They've already got the ability to shoot vertically very easily. SLR cameras, whether mirrorless or DSLRs, haven't had that particularly. The G9 is now well equipped to be able to do that, so it's superb. And as I say, the other one is a record frame, which is really important for me because it lets me see very clearly what I'm doing when I look at the side screen. But tomorrow I'm going to be taking the camera out and having a good look because some of the autofocus features should be um, a, a vast improvement. Now again these are difficult to quantify because what they're doing is taking it into the S1 category, the, the, the full frame of Lumix cameras. So it's going to have an improved speed and an improved accuracy on the autofocus. But to be perfectly honest Unless you're really pushing it, you're probably not going to notice a great deal of difference. Um, but you'll probably find that you have less missed shots. It certainly should improve things like uh, when you're doing tracking shots. There's supposed to be a, a big increase on that. And I'm going to be having a look at that. I probably won't do a video on it because there's so many videos going to be done demonstrating it. Probably far better than I can. But watch out for that because that is going to make a difference on it. Uh, the, fo the, the moving objects and the, the tracking facilities on this should give you far more keepers on, on, the, um, on the photographs and also work far better in video. The other thing is there are different recognition um, artificial intelligence insofar as animals and, and eye and facial tracking systems so again if, it's, if you do a lot of nature photography you're probably going to notice a big difference. The thing is it's free it doesn't cost you anything for the up upload just go onto the Lumix website download the, the firmware, extract it, put it onto the memory card, put it in, switch on, press play and then don't touch a button until it's finished unless it tells you otherwise. But basically that's it. So, are you going to up upgrade the, the firmware to version 2.4? Are you going to be checking through to make sure that the lenses um, are upgraded? I'm just going to pull my computer up in the background here just to give you an idea as to what has been updated uh, in the last couple of days. The GH5S um, has version 2 of the software that came out the 9th of June, so it's literally just come out. The um, G100 and G110, that's on version 1.2, and again that came out today. And the G9 is now on version 2.4, and that came out today. That's all the camera bodies that we have. Lens-wise, we have the... Um, of the fixed focal length Leica DG series, we have the um, 25mm, which is the HXA025, that's put on the version 1.1. Sorry, I'm looking at a screen past you, so you'll understand why I'm not quite looking at you, I'm reading on the screen past. The HES200 200mm lens has uh, version 1.2 now, and there's a whole collection of them. Um, the 8018 lens is on version 1.1, the X1025 is on 1.1, the AS12060, um, which is the standard zoom lens, that is on 1.2, the AS50200 is on 1.4, uh, 1.1, and the 100-400 uh, the zoom is on 1.3. Similarly, we have in the Lumix G series lenses, the 12-35, the HSA 12035, uh, that's on to 1.1, and as I've just said, the 12-60, um, the FS 12-60 is on version 1.3. Um, we also have on the telephoto the 35-100, which is the HSA, HSA 35-100, that's on version 1.1. The, if I can see it, Try to look past the camera camera support for this one. The FSA 45-200 um, is on version 1.1, and the FSA 100-300 is on version 1.1 as well. So there's some big updates. Get on the website; they are free for you to get. Don't worry about them. It's a straightforward procedure. And if you, as I say, if you haven't done it, there's a video which I've, I've already given you a link to on there. Um, or if not, just have a look at my channel for it. 
So hopefully this has been a quick view as to what's, what the, the case is. I had no problems upgrading the firmware on either the 12 to 60 lens or the Lumix um, camera body, the G9 camera body. And I've heard no other reports back from anybody else. I've been watching the social media in the background on this. I've seen no reports of any problems. So if you have got this or the GH5S, get your firmware done. If you've got any of those lenses just listed, have a, get those firmware done and uh, enjoy your camera, enjoy your taking your photographs with the new facilities. Uh, this is Brian James at Micro Four Thirds Guy with a very very quick update just to let you know that the firmware releases that Lumix have promised have now been released. Get on the site, get them downloaded, get them installed and get on taking some great photographs. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's just below. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It's it's all very good and it brings you as part of this little community which we've got here of over 2,200 people and we are a fantastic little bunch. I see the comments coming in. If you want to leave a comment, please do. Um, and if you hit, if you want notifications, hit the little bell. And again, if you found this information useful, there's a PayPal link. Give us a cup of coffee. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, Get out, take photographs, enjoy yourself. My name's Brian James, that's Micro Four Thirds Guy. Bye bye.